um, an any cubic, a modified version of the any cubic linear plus. Uh, if you've seen an earlier video that I did, I was struggling with the uh, the linear rails that they provide. They, the quality was just so poor uh, that they had a severe stick slip problem. So, uh, having worked with these before, the uh, V rails, the true V rails and rollers from uh, Open Builds, which are a superior product, uh, by creating this custom that you've seen here in white, this custom carriage. Uh, I was able to get extremely smooth operation uh, and the cost is really pretty minimal. Uh, I spent about maybe two dollars per roll roller with all the bearings, maybe another uh, fifteen dollars total for the V-beam and by doing this when I purchased the uh, 1500 millimeter, uh, one and a half meter V-beam I was able to cut it into thirds and end up gaining about an inch and a half to two inches of travel. Um, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, here the thing is just operating so beautifully. Um, but that's not to imply that it was easy getting here. There were any number of problems in the AnyCubic uh, kit. Uh, dumb things like the screws that were used to mount onto the, uh, the ball end for the, these uh, black uh, molded plastic uh, carriage plates were simply too long so you could not tighten them enough to do the job and if you tried to go to the shorter length uh, they wouldn't grab, they would not work. So uh, that was the kind of thing we were fighting. Uh, in addition I've done some mods. Uh, you can see one of them here. I've added a an end cover to each of the three uh, corners such that it would uh, prevent most of the uh, the glue and the slag and the bits of plastic from falling down into the uh, the printer and into the works down below. In addition, which you can't see here, I added a fan. This is something I got off Thingiverse. Added a fan to the um, electronics to keep the drivers as cool as possible. Uh, so if you search for a, a fan mount uh, on Thingiverse for the, the uh, uh, I believe they call it uh, the Gorilla Board or some, some such thing, Tri-Gorilla. Anyway, um, now that I've made these mods and spent a considerable time getting the uh, firmware configured, uh, that was quite a process by itself, uh, and leveling the thing and getting, uh, getting rid of all of the um, uh, leveling problems that uh, were inherent in a design like this, now it is functioning quite well. Uh, I am using Simplify 3D. Um, started with the uh, Castle Mini, uh, sized it up, and uh, you know, again, I've been dialing it in. Uh, if anyone wants to know what my Simplify 3D settings are, <coughs> I think I finally got the retract right um, and other aspects as well. So there it is. Uh, oh, one other mod before I leave. Uh, if you notice, the motor for the extruder is a longer frame motor than what they ship. What I was finding is that the stock motor that they provide just simply didn't have the torque. And there were many instances where it would jump and lose, lose steps when trying to push plastic down through the Bowden tube. That's it. I'm going to post uh, these parts eventually up on Thingiverse. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Thank you very much.